All right, so this one was after uh, Night Talk, I believe. A guy that I watched um, that was, has one guy that was going to plastic surgery. His face looked fucked up from all the plastic surgery he had. And, and I'm firmly aware really like, the same, same philosophy that I have with plastic surgeon is the same, I think, rationality, uh, thought process I have with abortions. If they're medically necessary, then if they don't take out the child now, then both are going to die. But if they take it out now, there is a chance that one, if not both, could live. And I'm, I'm cool with, you know, removing, but I'm not cool with doctors killing kids. That's just wrong. Like a doctor's oath is to do no harm. And this motherfucker that had plastic surgery, like plastic surgery should be, I mean, doing research and studies into um, creating fake skin or uh, artificial grown skin. So that they can learn how to put, um, instead of instead of actually taking skin off of you, they can actually grow skin, add it to you, and then after time doing some you know work, it, it will slowly um, the DNA, the, 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 your DNA will slowly um, sm transition over, and I can't think of a better word, but transition over into the new skin. Like if I got a burn right here, all right, I could put skin here and it might not look you know first off you know right off the bat you know when we first do this it might not look normal but after a while your own skin will slowly start to give off you know it starts to heal it um and and it will start to look like normal skin um i'm cool with doing research like that for burnt victims um though i am unfortunately i think all these all these science all these new um, like gross and, and knowledge and wisdom and science, I think there are small little pieces to a bigger puzzle on what we're trying to figure out, and that's what I, I have a problem with. Um, but plastic surgery should be outlawed. All right, big get injections and butt implants and boob Im implants that is retarded. <clears throat> okay, like I can understand maybe if a woman had her breast or one of her breasts removed because of cancer and she doesn't feel like a woman and I'm completely fine with insurance insurance covering that to help her get some boobs back so she can feel you know whole again I mean she'll never be whole again she'll never feel whole again because she had a piece of her, her astral self taken um but I just, like, with all this plastic surgery, it, 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 like, people nowadays, like, the Repo Man, the genetic opera that had Paris Hilton, Paris Hilton in it, and she was addicted to plastic surgery, which, if you see her now, it shows. Um, but I am not okay with just, oh, I have money, and I want to go get some lip fillers. No. 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 I mean, it's just as bad as fucking, like, because, I mean, I remember years ago, I had a really dark time in uh, my life, and uh, I looked up, because this was, like, this was years ago, when I was still somewhat religious, a lot more than now, um, and, I, and I was afraid of going to hell, um, but I wanted to die. So I looked up and I found out that I could actually go and schedule a, a lobotomy. Um, and lobotomies don't happen like they do in movies. Um, they ju they just they disconnect you from your aggression, your sex drive, your humor. Um, it would have been like you know how I was years ago when I had no social skills and I was awkward and I was just mm. you know people would piss me off like. Mm. Okay. Mm. You know, like, that's it. Um, that's where my my brain was, my mind was, my life was at that time. Um. So yeah. Um, and I think that's. I don't. I don't think you should be able to like one. I don't think. Any, I don't think that science works. Um, the same thing with electric hot therapy. Though I do think that has more beneficials. 
um, it was done the right way to help with certain things. Um, but I don't, I don't know about the mind. Maybe if we do it the right way, and instead of just giving electricity into the brain, you know, maybe we get pulse energy, you know, or frequency, you know, then maybe it would actually really help fix the frequency in people's heads instead of just shocking them um, into forcing the frequency, you know, to change. Um, but this video is pretty much. And it's already five minutes and 33 seconds. I swear, time just feels like it's not as long, but it's going by really fast. But it's, I, I don't know. Time just doesn't seem like, like I'm still shocked that it's October. Um, I think it's October. Yeah, October. God, two more months, and then two more months after that, I'm 38. All right, I got four months. Well, three and a half, because February 14th, so. And I'm almost 38. Uh, but this pretty much just had to do with plastic surgery. I'm against it. I don't, I think it's retarded. Um, and come on, ladies. Like, you guys can't really think you guys look attractive. I mean, unless you guys are so delusional. It's so just like your brain is so fried that when you look in the mirror with all the plastic surgery, they don't see the fucked up plastic surgery your face. All right, when they look in the mirror, they're so delusional that they see this beautiful goddess. All right, their mind is so altered and all that that they think they look like a 10. They look fantastic. All right, but on the outside, where everybody else is seeing it, they look like Alright, do you guys, oh my god, like, <clears throat> I mean, like, I men, men like the big lips, the big ass, I um, mean, like this, or like that, they like the natural look, but they like the natural in, in, in things, if it just happened, then it's attractive, but, I mean, I'm just gonna speak for me, but I'm pretty sure that I, I probably fit in the category of majority of men, it's not, no. I mean, yeah. I don't know, this one just had pretty much had to do with plastic surgery and all that shit, but. I'm against plastic surgery. Unless it's medically, you know, necessary, needed. Um, uh, no offense, ladies, but um, for all the real men out there, we find stretch marks attractive. Um, those are a badge of honor. Um, you, those prove that you put your body through hell for us, to give us kids, so to the ladies out there, real men, like them, so I don't consider that a necessary procedure, the need plastic surgery, um, uh, <clears throat> now, so that's just my input on that one, um, I see that we're going to be bringing up, you know, women issues that men like or don't like. <clears throat> I think the whole abortion topic we need to have a conversation about, a real conversation about. Um, and I think, like, no offense, but I think we need to get the right kind of men talking to all the women. And ladies, I think when it comes to learning and educating and being taught something and understanding how shit is, this is the time where you need to shut the fuck up. Alright. Like, because, like, I'm, I'm talking about all these podcasts. All I, all I see is people, like, there's some women on there that actually have a brain and actually understand and are trying to rationale. But when you get a group of females, like, the whole philosophy about how, like, Men in Black said in the movie, you know, like, people are smart, but the human race is, is dumb. Alright. And I think men can comprehend rationality and logic and facts and how it affects you and how it's how it's really affecting you and how compared to how you you think it's affecting you women on the other hand can't um and just because it hurts your feelings doesn't mean what i'm saying is wrong or or 
it's just, it, I, I'm only saying it because I want to hurt your feelings. No, bitch. Like, majority of men are not going out of the way. Like, just like, oh, you're a fat bitch. No. I mean, anybody that fucking does that after fucking stupid shit is somebody that's insecure. I mean, I'll give you that one. If, you know, you're calling them a fat whore bitch because they wouldn't give you a number. Well, then, yeah, you're insecure and you need to go work on yourself. Um... I am a firm like, but abortions, I mean, I think women need to, like, have a little bit more class respect for their body, um, acknowledge that they are responsible for, um, the pregnancy, they are responsible for what birth control they take, what, what form, what, uh, make and model they take, um, they are responsible for their ovulating, checking their body, keeping an eye on their body when they're ovulating, um, they choose on who fucks unless they get raped. Uh, they choose if a guy wears or doesn't wear a condom. Because if you say, hey, no. Um, and women, ha women have little tricks when I, anyway, and I know a lot of women that like to reach down there and, you know, grab me while I'm in there. Um, so I know women have tricks. And if by chance you are really gun ho it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't feel it. Let me see. And if I don't have one, then you tell me to stop. Because I hate to break it to you ladies, but whether, you know, he pulls out or not, you can still get an STD. Whether he nuts his full load in there, you can get still get pregnant or an STD. You can get pregnant or an STD off of pre-cum. All right, ladies? I don't know how the how much, how you know, but you can. There might be only a little chance on getting it, but you still can. Um... And yeah, you're ovulating. I mean, like, yeah, you can get a woman pregnant, you know, whenever. But the, the best times are is when she's ovulating. Um, otherwise, like that one bitch that um, that one bitch that said, uh, oh well, if women just had you know walls, you know, in there to just um stop it. You do. It's called your ovulating track. All right, it's called keeping a track on your body when it's ovulating. That's your walls. They might not be that secure. Your firewalls might not be that great. Um, they might not have the best, you know, percentages stats on keeping you not pregnant, but you do have them. Um, and like Pearl said, if that doesn't work for you, well, then absence is for you. Um. I mean, shit, I know a woman, like, downtown that has, like, 16 to 18 kids. I know a man that has 11. And the man that has 11 is actually twice the woman's age. Alright? Like, they don't have kids together. But this man is, like, 50, almost 60. And he has 11 kids. <laughs> this woman that I know is probably around in her 30s. And she has eight, 16, 18. And she has custody of none of them and yes if you see this video i'm talking about you know, grow up lady all right you need to grow the fuck up like you know, go get go get neutered all right you apparently like aren't gonna raise any of your kids so why should you have them um shit you want to bring back the fucking hole like how women think men are so bad I wish we were, so I can go to court and I can demand my ex be so shut and fixed and not allowed to have any more kids for the shit she pulled, but we can't, because I can't force what I want on you, but when it comes to the court systems, a woman and a mother can definitely force what she wants on you. That's the fucked up double center. That's what that people aren't understanding. Like, <clears throat> the court systems is so against men. And it's not really for women. Um, but it does play in their benefit. It does go towards them. But it's not for them. It's for the system. To use women as a tool. To manipulate their fucking head because they're really easy to play with. And then sick them on men out here. And it caused mayhem, problems, and issues for the genders. 
That's what it's all about. I mean, yeah, there is a small elite up there that are actually controlling everything. And the majority of women are men. I mean, I think in that group, yeah, women probably they are allowed to speak. Um, they're allowed to have opinions. I don't know how much power they're allowed to have. I, th- I want to say, like, in the top, top elite, the people that are GOG, the people that are actually really calling the shots, I don't think they have women um, and in power positions, and I don't think they have gays in that group. Uh, at first, I was like, oh, they're not going to worry about that. I mean, but I also don't believe, like, it's not part of evolution and biology. All right? It's part of the anomaly and mutation of evolution and biology, but being gay is, is not a, a fundamental foundation that gives shape to foundation to evolution and biology <clears throat> it is a hiccup that happens in evolution and biology and just because you know two percent of the human population is gay or lesbian or bi or 0.0032 percent is trans um doesn't mean we need to actually teach people what that is um scientists can study it to understand it to maybe stop it but we don't need to understand it so we can integrate it into our understanding on how evolution works. We know anomalies happen. We know mutations happen. We know mistakes are made in evolution. I think that's one of the problems that religion actually has a problem with evolution and God. Because evolution is technically God, but evolution can make mistakes and accidents and things that they can't quite understand why they happen. God doesn't do that. And that's the problem that Christian and science have with each other. Evolution has with each other. And I know this is all over the place, but this is how my brain works. And I really do think that all of this stuff I talk about intertwines with each other. It's all part of our society, our civilization, our reality, our universe, our galaxy, you know, our way of think life. Um... You know, the world is definitely falling apart. Um, I, I did. I did have a talk with um, you know, this one. I mean, I hope people watch my videos. I mean, I don't know if people are actually watching my whole long five to fifteen to thirty to forty-five to an hour and a half long videos. Um, and for the people that actually do make it this far in my videos thank you um but I, I uh and this one pretty much had to do with you know uh plastic surgery and all that but then you see where it turned into so we're just gonna leave it at that and call it a night or day morning <clears throat>